Good morning, commuters. Welcome to Commuting with Julie. You're probably wondering, where the hell have you been for the last two days? Because I didn't post on Thursday and I didn't post on Friday. My wife ended up uh, waking up with pains, sweating, nausea, dizziness, and a pain right here. All signs of a woman having a heart attack. I raced her to the hospital. Turns out it's her gallbladder. So she left the hospital without having all of her original parts. And she's doing fine. So that's good. So now we're back to my ranting. Ah! Listen, people. Let me explain the First Amendment right to you. Because apparently there are a great many of you, maybe not you because you listen to me, but a great many people who do not understand the First Amendment right. Yes, you have the First Amendment right to do, or to not do, but to say anything. You can say Donald Trump is a cow and there's nothing anybody can do to you. Okay, or not anybody. The government cannot do anything to you. As, as long as you're not yelling fire in a crowded movie theater or making threats, and in some cases, encouraging threats, you can say anything. So if you wanna say Obama's the worst president in history, go ahead. You have the right to do that. You're freaking wrong, but you have the right to do that. Here's the kicker. That means I have the right to call you out and tell you you're wrong because I have a First Amendment right too. That's the part people don't understand. Or it's the part they don't pay attention to. Shocking. You have the right to tell me what I'm doing wrong? No way. No way. I have a First Amendment right. You can't pick on me. Yes. Yes, I can. That's the beauty of it. We all have a First Amendment right. And technically, technically, I think our First Amendment right really only extends to the press. I think. If you, if you read the Constitution, I really think it's mostly protection for the press. But it doesn't matter. In this country, since that time, we have taken the First Amendment right and expanded it to everybody. Anybody in this country can do anything. You can stand in a street corner and scream at the top of your lungs. Anything. And as long as you're doing it, like you're not like at two o'clock in the morning, because I think you'd get arrested for that because you're breaking a um, sound ordinance or something, you pretty much can say anything you want. Gooby dooby doo, you can say it. Doesn't matter, nobody cares. But when you call Johnny Ware, who I, honest to God, knew nothing about till I saw him in a ridiculous hat, for like two seconds because the Kentucky Derby was this past weekend. I'm sorry, people. It's the Kentucky Derby. I know there's a lot of people who think the Kentucky Derby is a wonderful horse race and it's a beautiful tradition. Great. Johnny Ware's little Twitter feed hat did not take anything away because if you think about it, the Kentucky Derby is all about wearing crazy hats. It's about wearing crazy hats, drinking mint juleps, watching little short men, and sometimes women, ride horses in a circle. That's what it's about. So to say that he doesn't fit, I'm sorry, uh, no. I, I, You know, you cannot call him, well you can, you have the legal right to call him a flamer, but then I get to call you a homophobe for doing that, because you're a homophobe. If you had said, I just don't think that these two, because Tara Lipinski was there too. Why are these two figure skaters doing the announcing for the Kentucky Derby? I didn't like them. That's one thing. What was with that crazy ass hat he was wearing? I don't been okay with that. The minute you said flamer, you're a homophobe. You're a homophobe. Because that's like calling a Mexican a spick or a black person a nigger. Sorry. You can't do it. Well, you can do it. You have the legal right to do it. But it shows your interior um, homophobia. So don't sit there and say, oh, you're picking on me. No. 
You're a pussy. You're a pussy. No, you're not a pussy because pussies take a lot of pounding. You're a dick. Because dicks are weak and if you get kicked in one, system reset. So that's what you are. You don't have any cojones. You're a pussy. And you're even, or a dick. And you're even more of a dick because then you go, I can, I can say what I want. And you're being intolerant. Really? I'm supposed to tolerate your intolerance. Excuse me? There's not even any logical to, logic to that. None. None. Calling a gay guy a flamer is hate speech. Me sitting here, the government can't stop you from doing it. But me sitting here going, you just called that man a flamer. I don't even give a... Look, with the exception of my friend Ramon who went to the Kentucky Derby, I was very interested in him and his family and his trip to the Kentucky Derby, something they do every year. Outside of that, I could give a rat's ass about the Kentucky Derby. I really could give a rat's patoot for the fucking Kentucky Derby. It's a horse race. It's a horse race with a long tradition, but let's face it, horse racing's not my thing. It's just like my friend Margaret, who would say she could give a rat's ass about the Super Bowl. Football's not her thing. I don't understand it. I think she was dropped on her head as a child. I mean, football's life, right? Anyway, speaking of sports, go Cubbies! Go Cubbies! All right. They're going to throw me out of Wisconsin for that. But there's no way I'm ever going to root for those brewers. They suck. They suck! Suck! And I'm paying for the fucking stadium! And I'm still pissed. What has it been? What's it been since we've gotten stuck paying for that stadium? 10 years? 10, 12 years? Whatever it is? I'm still fucking paying for it. 0.1%. In the scheme of things, I'm, I'm spitting. On the That's how mad I am. On the sales tax, 0.1% is not that big of a deal. We pay 5.1% of sales tax in the city of Racine. I think maybe the whole county. So it's not that big of a deal. But I want my 0.1% back because they're a shitty team and they didn't deserve a new stadium and there was nothing wrong with County Stadium. A lot of history in County Stadium. So F you to everybody who voted for that fucking stadium. Okay. Anyway, that's my rant today. You, right now, have a First Amendment right to put something in the comments and go, Julie, you suck. I can look back right at you and go, you suck too. You must be watching me. You must suck too. Just kidding. Everybody knows that if you watch Commuting with Julie, that makes you the coolest person in the room. Matter of fact, yesterday, I asked Cortina, Cortana, Cortana. I said, Cortana, who's your favorite person? And she said, the coolest person in the world. And I said, Cortana, who's the coolest person in the world? And she said, you, meaning me. So if you're watching me, you must be cool too. See, there's logic in there. Total logic. Because it's cause and effect. I'm just teasing. All right. So I want you all, all my commuters, very sorry that I didn't, didn't post. I was posting updates on Cheryl. I didn't think it was right to sit there in her hospital room and do a, do a commuting with Julie when I was sitting in a hospital room. So I want you to all take good care of yourselves today. Take good care of each other because that's what this is all about. If some idiot tells you, you can't say that to me or you're being intolerant while they're spreading hate, explain this. Play this for them. Don't, hey, if you like this and you want to, please spread it around. Because the more people that watch, I earn nothing from it. But it, it's nice to hear what other people have to say. So, if you hated it, post it in the comments. But no, somebody's going to tell you off. And if you loved it, post it in the comments. Nobody's going to tell you off, but I might thank you. So have a good day. Take good care of everybody. It's going to be a good day, taters, right? It's going to be a good day, commuters. Here we go. Have a good day.